All right, guys, so this is 564 Portsmouth Boulevard. Uh, the issue that I am seeing is you are literally right across the street from the Norfolk Naval Shipyards. So it will be a lot of traffic, it will be a lot of military and contractors and you know, people. It does have off street parking, which is nice. Uh, it does have sidewalks as well, which is nice if you ever want to like walk your dog or something like that. The siding is a little discolored and warped. I don't think that's a huge deal. Take that out. So when you first walk in, I'm just gonna lock that behind me. When you first walk in, um, you have your stairs immediately in front of you to go up. You have this like living room space over here with your thermostat. Even though it is a flipped home, which means it was rehabbed, it was old, and somebody came in and bought it and flipped it. You have a couple of fogged windows. Um, same thing with the door. I don't know if you guys can see. You can see like daylight through the door. So they make weather stripping for that, but if it is a renovated property, it probably shouldn't have that. <clears throat> Fun fact, if you flip a house and sell it, you are not required to sell it with a refrigerator. So this property will require you guys to buy your own fridge. Decent water pressure, well, maybe not. You have a little pantry right here. You have your air handler, your hot water heater, and a pretty small space, to be honest, for your washer and dryer. So your water heater was not normally there. So you probably would have to get a stackable or two very, very small apartment size appliances. One of the great things about this property is that it has a ginormous backyard. Let's go check out that um, shed. <laughs> oh. Aha. So you've got your shed right here. I mean, it's a standard shed, nothing, nothing fancy. I am noticing that the fence is starting to fall down, so that would be something uh, you guys would more than likely have to repair as well. Kind of looks like it's falling in multiple areas, but they did fence it in completely, which is nice. This is a good view of the roof. So the roof is definitely older. It has been patched, uh, which means that in the future, probably within the next one to five years, you might need to consider replacing it. As you can see, certain dips. Let's head back in. So, oh, and then of course the AC unit. I do like this little like mud room area though. All right, so we're back in the kitchen. Right off the kitchen, you have your master bedroom or your primary bedroom. It is a little smaller, but it's an older home.
And because you don't have a designated dining space, I really do love uh, that the kitchen sort of has this nook right here. You could put like a little round table and still be in the kitchen. And then you can have people over here in the living space. So let's head upstairs. These stairs are pretty steep, but that's typically normal in these cottage style homes. The rooms up here are definitely much larger. But the closet spaces are a little smaller. Here's your guest bathroom. I'm trying to find the light switch. Ah, it's outside. The exhaust fan works. I know it's your favorite swirl texture on every surface, ceiling included. It's got a laminate vinyl floor and fresh carpet all throughout. Honestly, if this were me, I would just make this whole upstairs my bedroom especially since you know you're not going to be living with anyone so i could do like one room would be my master the other could be like a bedroom or an office or you know something this one does have multiple closets <clears throat> whereas the other one only had one something i do really want to point out is i cannot hear a ton of traffic so even though we are on a very busy road across from a very busy shipyard, I don't hear a lot of traffic. And you have really pretty great myrtles outside your home. If you decide to use that as your master space, you could always use this as a guest suite. Um, never seen that sort of texture before, but it looks intentional. It's just weird. All right, this one, this window is a little fogged as well. It always confuses me when, you know, you put a, you know what I also thought about too? There's no, like, bathroom open for guests that come over. So if you have friends that come over, they'll either have to come in this room and use this bathroom, or they'll have to go straight up the stairs and use that one up there. So maybe you might wanna make this into like an office or a media room or something like that. That way it's open for guests. Either way, let me know what you guys think. It's a small little starter home. It's definitely got its pros and cons um, being so close to the shipyard, but needs to be super easy to rent out either to contractors or to young military people if ever you wanted to sell or get a new house. So let me know what you think.